I was here to um, present some approaches we use uh, in the Russian Federation to estimate stocks of uh, undocumented migration. This um, issue is very relevant to us. Uh, we have uh, every year around 5 million people coming with the purpose of work and uh, only half of them apply for documents. So that's uh, temporary labor migrants, undocumented ones, should be measured and uh, we should uh, take into account these figures when uh, working out different measures of migration policy. That's, uh, that is uh, the very important topic for us. <laughs> Outputs was um, um, a real estimate of uh, unauthorized migration based on so-called residual method. Uh, so we have a certain number of migrants staying in Russia based on administrative data sources. And uh, then we just subtract people who have legal right to reside and to stay in Russia. So the result was around 2 million people could be considered uh, be permanent or long-term uh, migrants uh, having no uh, authorization to stay in Russia. But of course, it's an estimate and the research should be continued. So also we have uh, distribution of uh, migrants by the regions of the Russian Federation because uh, this distribution is very uneven because there are some centers, some big cities which attract most of migrants and uh, it is normal, it's uh, quite understandable that uh, unauthorized migrants also concentrate in the same areas. I think um, uh, it depends on quality of data we use. Uh, more data we have, more details we have, more sophisticated methodology we can implement. So it's uh, an issue of uh, initial data we use. Since we know how many undocumented migrants we have, and uh, since we know the trend, if this number is increasing or declining, we uh, get information for policy making. And uh, then we start to look for reasons of growth of undocumented migrants stock. And uh, since these reasons uh, are also clear, or always clear, uh, we can uh, use some regulations to eliminate the factors which lead to increase in undocumented migration.